postpartum anxiety. The baby blues. You um, had a little that's bit a of baby, baby blues. blues. And I think it was related to my lack of sleep because once I got that first good night's sleep, I felt a lot better. But the snoo definitely was my saving grace when it came to that. on the snoo. Uh, first off, when you get it, they cost a lot up front. Do I think that it's really worth the price? I'm gonna be honest, I don't personally think it's worth the price. The reason that we got ours is we found it on Facebook Marketplace for $500. If you can get it for that, definitely worth it. The motion is excellent, the sound is excellent, the way that it senses your baby is excellent. The few little twerks, and I'm just gonna go over real quick. The app is something that we're not the biggest fans of. For instance, if we want to lock it on a certain setting, the lock is holding down the pause button and it doesn't always read it as that. So as your baby's trying to fall asleep, it's turning on and off and on and off just so you can try to get it locked. On top of that, there's not a lot of options when it comes to settings. Like I wanted to have it on a certain motion, with a certain sound, with a certain volume, and it only gives you very limiting uh, ability to do those. For us and having our first baby though, I think it was definitely worth the money. She loved it. The motion was great having her strapped in. We felt peace of mind as our first kid. So if you can get it for the same price that we got it, I think that is definitely, definitely worth it. One other thing that I didn't like either, these sacks, the sacks are great, but the Velcro inside the sack will wear out so quick. After one wash, the Velcro doesn't even work, barely. So that was one of our biggest pains, is the Velcro, and the zipper is not of high quality. We had issues with the zippers as well. The zipper wasn't a big issue until she could start kicking and she was strong enough to kick through it, but the zipper wasn't the main issue. That was fine, because we were able to fix it easily. It was, the Velcro came undone, which was kind of annoying when you're trying to swaddle them. Yep. Um, and then what he said about the app, but otherwise, honestly, not many complaints about it. We really liked it. My recommendation to any mom would be establish breastfeeding, maybe wait till, we waited till Drew was around four weeks old before we transitioned her to the snoo. She was sleeping in just a bedside bassinet first. Um, that way she and I had a good bond. I understood her feeding patterns, sleeping patterns when she needed to be woken up to breastfeed. And so we had a good yeah, schedule. And I, I just had that down before we started the snoo. So I waited till she was a month old. I think we'll keep it and probably stay and use it with our next baby if we need to. I think for me, if we're doing it on a scale of one to 10, I think I'm gonna give it a good solid seven, eight. Really? Yeah. I'd give it closer to a nine. Well, I think it's an awesome thing to have for a first time parent that's having difficulty sleeping. For me, it was my saving grace um, because I had pretty bad sleep deprivation, which resulted in a lot of emotional things. I wouldn't oh, say postpartum. postpartum depression. I'd say more like postpartum oh, anxiety. The baby blues, you um, had a little bit of baby, baby blues. blues. And I think it was related to my lack of sleep because once I got that first good night's sleep, I felt a lot better, but the snoo definitely was my saving grace when it came to that. So. Okay, so you'll give it a nine. I'm giving it a seven, eight from a dad perspective of the sleeping sack. The Velcro could be better, the zipper could be better. The app was not very user friendly, but for a piece of equipment to soothe your baby and have her sleep, it was a number one. So for that, I give it an eight. For the app and the snoo sacks, I give it a seven. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment. Also check out our vlogs. We really appreciate it. And until next time, as we always say, deuces.